Hey guys, so as you can see, I have got myself Crytac's very own Chris Vector, the AEG version. Um, I've waited quite a while, it's probably been about five or six months since I actually placed the order in. It was expected to come in July and I think there was just a, I think there was just a lot of orders and they couldn't keep up with pr production, but either way, took a while, but finally got here, finally got my own Vector. Um, as you can see, I've added a few different things. I purposely added the foregrip because the way it felt, it was obviously the gun is so front heavy as most of the weight is here and this is lighter. Um, manipulating the gun from here I found it quite hard because, well for one, my hand is pressing actually up against the mag release. And so what happens is your in, the knuckle of your index finger, if you press too hard, I mean I didn't even really press that hard, the magazine comes right out. So I was a little bit concerned about that. Um, but also just having the gun um, being so front heavy manipulating it like this compared to having a foregrip I felt I could be a lot more sensitive and accurate um, moving it with a foregrip in sort of this position rather than having it like this um, so that was just that's just my personal sort of preference having that foregrip that's from PTS um, then I've got the silencer co Osprey doesn't really suppress anything um, it's just the uh, suppressor look to add on to the vector I just like that rectangular flat look that complements the gun. Um, I do have another suppressor which is a more rounder shape but I preferred this one so I got that and then just a regular aim point on there. Um, otherwise the gun obviously as expected feels solid and uh, today I just wanted to show you my own vector and then let's go and shoot it outside so you can see how it performs. Alright guys so I'm um, sorry I'm outside so it might be a little noisy I'm uh, unfortunately I have to do this at night but either way hopefully you can still see clear enough the uh, chronograph uh, let's just chrono the vector and see what it puts out. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs. Three twenty FPS, three fourteen, two eighty eight, three fifteen, three nineteen, two thirteen, three seventeen. So as you can see there, it's probably about a steady 320, 310 FPS, just about 0.9 joules. There's a few outliers there, but overall it seems to be hovering around that with 0.2. I personally probably will use uh, probably 0.25s, um, maybe 0.3s, I doubt I'll use 0.3s, but I'll give you a good idea of uh, what it is at sort of a base stock level. All right guys, so I've got a range set up. There's a target down there. Probably, I've measured this, it's about seven to eight meters roughly. I'm seated down, I'm gonna rest on the table to hopefully give me the best stability so this test is as neutral as possible, got a better control. Obviously there might be a little bit of sway, so that's just user error. I don't have a gun clamp unfortunately, so I can't clamp it into place. However, I did take a couple shots just now to zero in my sights with my aim point, and I think it's good to go, so why don't we go ahead and uh, let's see the grouping from seven to eight meters away. Bear in mind, my hop is set to zero right now. Going hot. So I took about, I think, 10 or 11 shots. Let's go take a look. Okay guys, so there's the target. I just put it up under the light so you could see it. Um, looks like most of our shots are here, all in one sort of grouping. We have one outlier down here. Um, shooting a little high to the right, but that's fine. That's just my zeroing issue. That's nothing to do with the gun itself. Um, and from about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Probably another one there, 10. Yeah, I think it's about 10 shots. Um, the grouping is about two inches. Up and down vertically, it seems pretty okay. Um, left and right, the grouping is uh, about, yeah, about two inches, about two inches at seven to eight meters. So I'm sure I can improve that. This is the first time I've even shot the gun. Um, I literally got the vector yesterday and I've just taken it out now. Set up a pretty impromptu range and Try to take a couple shots at a few targets, um, and this was just after zeroing. I could probably zero it more, but I think not bad from seven to eight meters. at steady. Ideally, I think I would like a smaller grouping, maybe a one-inch grouping from only eight meters away, and re especially resting on a table. But uh, 
I don't know. Maybe I'll uh, give this gun a, a good clean through of the barrel, maybe zero in it a little more, and then hopefully maybe we can come back another time and maybe we'll see some difference. But for now, this is how it's shooting. I mean, to be honest, I'm quite happy with that. Obviously, it would make a difference if it was at 10 or 20 meters. Um, unfortunately, living in Hong Kong in the city, I don't have that kind of space to just go out and uh, go to a range and shoot that distance. But hopefully this gives you a good idea. All right, guys, see you later.